Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you the Cyberpunk 2077 Militech 9mm pistol made by 3D Workbench. If you're new to my channel, first of all, welcome to you. And if you like this video, then push that little subscribe button and ring the little bell beside the subscribe button to be notified about future videos. Thank you. As said, I want to show you this pistol from the game Cyberpunk 2077. And these files are originally made by 3D Workbench. Check out his Instagram, his page, his Twitter, and be sure to check out his Patreon. There you can get all the files for this pistol. He also has an Etsy store and his files are over on Carl's 3D. So be sure to check him out. Props to him for making these awesome files of this pistol. So before showing you how I actually made this pistol out of three printed parts and finished it, I just want to explain how I wanted to approach this build. Um, I thought about the game is uh, in the near near future, in about 50 years, and we are at the moment 3D printing plastic parts and also 3D printing metal parts. So I thought, well, in 50, 60 years, you will be able to print guns, obviously, out of metal. So I tried to achieve the look. If this gun has been 3D printed, yeah, you now say, man, is a lazy guy. <laughs> you don't need any sanding or something. Yeah, it's true. So you just have to print out the parts and then finish them. And yeah, this was the look I was going for. It was a quick build. And I just wanted to show you the features and how I made it right now.
the pistol actually has some neat features. You can remove the mag, you can also remove the 9mm bullet from the mag, which is quite awesome. There's a, there's a good detail in those files and I really appreciate them. You can also do like, after reload, you can pull, I don't know how it's called, this kind of lever. And I actually made a huge mistake. In the instructions of 3D Workbench of Yuri, there is a, a phrase like, pay attention to sanding and fitting of the parts before gluing everything together. I have read the instructions for the first time <laughs> ever and I still made a mistake. Inside there's a small lever with another lever and because the print on one surface, I will try to show you in CAD where the mistake is, um, they cannot intersect with each other. So this mechanism actually doesn't really work. You can pull it, it should be fixed in this position and when you pull the trigger it should go off like this. This doesn't work because I did a sloppy job on the inside. Um, I still really love this function, it's really awesome and it looks really cool. I hope you guys found this video interesting. Uh, sorry for not posting this earlier because we were moving, I was arranging all the stuff and we had to get rid of all the mess around here. Now I try to put up videos more frequently. If you want to, leave me a comment in the description below what you're looking for in the next time. And be sure to check out 3D Workbench's pages, his Patreon, links in the description below. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, ring the bell. And to conclude it, I wish you a nice day. Goodbye.